My name is Chase Lopez, and this is another episode of Shooting to Stardom. Story by Chase Lopez. We had a producer that was going to be on the show, but he canceled, and Robbie couldn't do any better. So he brought a guy with the puppet. I'm sorry, folks, or this might be an off week, but we'll just, we'll just get through this. Keep your puppet up. We're going to talk about Rhonda's nursery where you could get your plants and pots. So why don't you go on down and plant your feet and water those plants so you could get a nice fresh air in your home. Rhonda's nursery. And that one is 125 4th Street. I'm pretty sure that's in downtown. So just go down there. So today we have Rob Rob Genitals? Uh, nope, Gentilly. My last name is Gentilly. Wrote it down. It was Genitals. Well, then you wrote it down wrong. I don't know what else to. That's not. My last name's not Genitals. Or Debbie Downer. That would have been. I was. Keep your puppet up. All right, so today we have Rob Gentelli. Is that. Are you Italian? That's close enough. Italian? I am Italian. Okay. Today, Rob is going to give us a lesson on how to speak Italian. Nope. I don't speak Italian at all. You just said you're Italian. You're on camera saying that you're Italian. I am Italian, but I don't speak Italian. That's, those are two different things. Does your stupid fucking puppet speak Italian? I didn't even want to have you on the show. Robbie convinced me, and here we are. I don't have so. to be here. Well, you're here now. Today we're with Rob, the Italian man who doesn't speak Italy language. Rob, tell us a little bit about how... Um, you ended up doing um, just this puppet stuff. Uh, in college, I was uh, on a, an improv team that uh, did puppets, and we uh, really liked making them. Okay. Uh, he's, he's all right. Like all right. All right. All right. We're gonna we're gonna take it over to Birdie for the DIY uh, tip of the week. So take it away, Birdie. Why do I do this? I don't know. You're pretty bad at it. You know what? Let's just hear from your stupid puppet. No. You're pretty bad at it. People already think you're a douchebag because of your mustache. Nobody, what? Nobody fucking. Nobody likes a douchebag. Okay. All right. Yeah. I bet that's true, huh? All right. Look at this camera. And we're back. So Rob is going to do a show for us with his what? puppet. <laughs> Milo, where are you from? Uh, I'm from a small town in New Jersey. Hamilton. Oh, okay. Are you ever embarrassed uh, to be caught with Rob because of his douchey mustache? Milo, keep, uh, keep looking yeah, at this camera. Thank you. Camera. All the questions directed at Milo are just going to be about how much of a douche I am. Like, maybe we just move so on. You're, so you're acknowledging that you're a douchebag. Great. No, we not. got it on camera, guys. Okay. We're going to take it away. Sarah, please take me out of this misery. It's a rough one, Chase. I know. I've done shows that are bad. Now I see what Jimmy Kimmel feels like. I don't even know where to begin unwrapping that one. Maybe you should start but by shaving your mustache. I don't know what that has to do with anything. It has a lot to do with everything because your mustache and your sunglasses now oh, make you look like a complete good. asshole. What is that, like an eye watch? It is an Apple watch. Complete douchebag. How much did you pay for it? Uh, I got it on sale, actually. I didn't ask if you got it on sale. That's how much. <laughs> I paid $200 for it. Okay, there you have it, folks. And we're back. Thank you very much, Sarah. Was uh, that last part going to be in it? So we're back, folks. And Rob is going to give us a tip on part of his life that he knows best is being broke because apparently puppetry doesn't get you anywhere. So let's hear it. Can you grab the puppet and say it? Be nice to people and do your best, and hopefully they will want to hire you again. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, this was uh, this one was a waste of 30 minutes. You're never going to get it back, and I'm responsible for that. Um, I take full responsibility. As you should. But mostly, Rob's responsible. That's what I was getting at, and we're out. You suck, man. <laughs>